Give this to Kirijo, preferably while you're at school. I haven't suddenly decided to go back to school or anything. That's a form to extend my leave of absence. Don't make much sense to be in an extracurricular squad if I get expelled, but I'll drop it if I can stay absent from school. Going myself would be more of a pain than it's worth. Plus, it seems like Kirijo depends on you. It should be pretty easy to hand it off if you do it at school. I'll pay you back for this. So help me out, alright? Hmm. So you'll do it? No questions asked? <laughs> I owe ya. I don't see you two together very often. What are you guys doing back here in the middle of the day? Uh, that envelope. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the form for returning to school. <laughs> hey, if Shinji keeps this up, you'll be his classmates next year. <laughs> you and Junpei should practice addressing him casually. In fact, go ahead and boss him around a bit. I'd rather get expelled. We're gonna finish the battle this year. I've got no reason to stay enrolled after that. <sighs> Shinji! You know exactly how concerned Mitsuru is about you. You know what this form means to her, don't you? Don't tell me you forgot your promise. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to drag you into my problems, but... Still counting on you for that. I've never seen Shinji ask someone else for help with his own problems before. He'd never say it out loud. But I think he really trusts you. <laughs> Even just being able to stand a guy that antisocial is an accomplishment. I think he actually likes the fact that you don't back down from anyone. I'm not gonna nag Shinji about going back to school anymore. Just do what you think is best. I'll leave it to you.
Thank you. I don't think I ever told you about how things were before you joined. Seas originally started off with only three members. Back in middle school, I invited Akihiko to join, and Aragaki followed him soon after. We had no idea what we were doing back then. We were young, inexperienced, and we had almost no intel to work off of. We could barely even make it past the entrance to Tartarus back then. Actually exploring the tower like we're doing now was nothing more than a pipe dream. Even with all our shortcomings, we worked decently as a team. As peers, it was easy for us to connect, and the work was hard but fulfilling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not complaining about our current circumstances. We've discovered how to eliminate the Dark Hour, and we've since grown much stronger. However, after what happened in Yakushima, and with Aragaki rejoining, it's hard not to remember the old days. Maybe I'm so concerned about re-enrolling him in school because I'm still living in the past. Yes. Sometime after we started working as a team, we all came to an agreement. We promised we'd all graduate together. No one left behind. Akihiko was just as reckless back then, too. Our Gaki was always the one reminding him that our lives were at stake. Although his wording certainly wasn't quite so thoughtful. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was surprised too, but Aragaki didn't use to distance himself from others like he does now. Ever since he left the team, he's acted like he's wanted to punish himself. It's almost like he just wants to waste away. I'm hoping he'll remember his promise and take a step back and look at himself. That's why I gave you the paperwork to get him back in school. That was my last hope, but I suppose it didn't work out. I'll tell Akihiko myself. All right, I'll take this. I'll start on the process for extending his leave of absence. Sure. What's wrong, though? Is it missing a page? I'll let you handle it, then. Make sure to let Aragaki know as well. Thing that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait, is 
like this? It is. I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever. This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. That means 18,000 yen total? What should I do? Well, it... it's kind of... expensive. I can't afford it with what I have right now. And I don't want to go and take money out of my savings. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what! I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or... I'll get them by the time I graduate! I... I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for me, Mom. Hey, I saw that! You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness or friends. That is, until recently. I think that's mostly true, but I do have my doubts. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. Should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again.
this is the first time we've met during the day. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or could it be you've already killed her? So you're keeping her alive. Then I take it you've had to use the suppressants, as I'd expect from Kirijo's resourcefulness. And you now have someone with first-hand experience among your number as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. Now, I ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy, such insolence, you trample upon everything we stand for, and worst of all, your rejection of mine! Hmm. You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other, and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Quite make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? Seriously? Dude, you're killing me here. What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a day? It, it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be booked, right, Kurijo-senpai? I'm not sure yet. 
Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Why is he all excited? Um... Well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh! Amada-kun! What are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. Anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah? for you. It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities, have you been using them wisely? To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. I am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. But for now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again, farewell.
Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swift goodbye now. Welcome back.
Senpai? Oh, um, I was just cleaning my room. Sorry, was it too loud? Okay then, good night. <sighs> Um, Senpai? Actually, there is something I'd like to talk about. Will you come in? Sorry it's so messy in here. This won't take long. I actually have a favor to ask of you. You see, I have a pet hamster. I got him when I was living with my mom, and he's been with me ever since. So I decided to bring him here. If, for some reason, I don't make it back here in the future, then this little guy will be all alone. So, could you help look after him if that happens? Sorry I'm bringing this up out of nowhere. I know, it's a bit of an unreasonable request, but you're the only one I can ask. You even came to see me today. You look out for the ones around you, so I'm sure he'd be happy with you. So please, I can even provide a little something as thanks. I'll give you all my allowance, and the rest of my New Year's money. And I'll give you all the comics here, plus whatever else you want. Okay, that works for me. Well, aren't you the lucky one? But when that happens, you better listen to him, okay? Uh, his name, it's Hamburger. My favorite would be omelet rice. But hamburgers are a close second. The night he came home with me, we had hamburgers for dinner. So that's why. Anyways, thank you so much. That's a big relief. There's not much time left now. Sorry again for the disturbance. Could you apologize to everyone else for me? It's getting late, so I'm going to bed soon. Um, actually, can I ask you one more thing? Everyone in this dorm is so kind. They always come up to me for a casual chat, and they treat me like a normal person. Sure, there were plenty of adults who showed concern for me, but I feel like the people here are a little... different. And you came to check in on me again today, but... why? Why does everyone here care about what happens to me? A... team. I only just joined, but you already think of me as one of your own? I guess that was a weird question, wasn't it? Sorry, don't mind me, but maybe I should have asked sooner. I don't know if I'll be able to fully repay you for your kindness, but I'll do my best. Okay then, good night. <sighs> Senpai! I'm really glad you came. Thank you, and I'm sorry. I won't let you down.
Yes, that's right. any more classes this afternoon. But that doesn't mean you're free to goof around. It's time to work together and put away the culture festival displays and decorations. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Okay, let's hurry up and get this over with. Roger that. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. Look, I got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's Hyacin. He's crazy fast. Of course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. I swear, I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, this got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Yo, I brought the tools and stuff. The nail puller, tape, and uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Bubble wrap? Oh, right. We gotta pack stuff up. Uh... Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but... You're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh, are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. Uh, what? No way. Are you serious? Give me the details, man. Ahem. I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man. Talk about an ace directive. I heard that. Jeez, how stupid can you be? Junpei? More like stupid. I'm getting deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. They said it was gonna be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. Oh, really? With who? You. Hmm. Wait, me? You're gonna just push me on stage without even saying anything? I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. Who, me? Help. Just another joke. Chill out, guys. I'll do it with you, then. Now that's the spirit. Why don't we show these guys what we've got? <clears throat> Hello out there, everyone. We're the famous comedy duo, Kenji Tomochika. Oh, come on. 
Come on, I just gave you the perfect setup for a comeback. You could have said something like, pretty lonely duo, or I'm here too, you know? Anyway, I sure can't wait for the culture festival. It's gonna be awesome, huh? What, you're giving up already? All you gotta do is sleep like 360 more times and bam, culture festival. You know what they say, early to bed, early to rise. There you go, we got a top quality one this time. Kinda depressing, though. Hey, speaking of jokes, here's a good one. What do you do when your key isn't working? That's the lamest joke I've heard in years. Guess that's the best GeckoCon has to offer. Hmm, not bad, considering we didn't rehearse this at all. Man, we would have been great. All right, break it up, you guys. Seriously, I take my eyes off you for one second. Speaking of things that would have been great, you missed out on your chance to be a maid, Takebasan. Huh? So word got out about that. I for one am fine with missing that opportunity. And a lot of guys were real disappointed. Ain't that right, Miyamoto? Huh? Uh, how should I know? Wait, why are they disappointed? The maids are there to help at the cafe, right? Ah, uh, such a pure soul. Well, it's kind of something that guys fantasize about. Mainly Junpei. Oh. What are you looking at me for? What did I do? Junpei-san. Oh, come on. You too, ai chan
feel so calm when I have someone reading next to me. Should we wrap up for the night? Get on with today's lesson.
sorry that the party ended up being at my place. I was out buying stuff that might be useful for running practice, and I ran out of money. Oh, really? Good thing I took the time to tidy up. Feel free to eat as many snacks as you want, okay? It was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad we decided to coach those kids in the end. What do you think? Um, sorry. It's just, I never noticed how long your eyelashes are. I don't think I've looked at you this closely before. It's only the two of us here now. Maybe that's why I'm a little nervous. Uh, how about we change the subject? I'll ask you a question. Hmm. Oh, do you like children? Really? Me too. I like how they're so pure and always try their best. It just makes me want to support them as much as I can. I realized recently how much I like to look after other people. Let's see. Uh, okay, next question. Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? Me too. Oh, we must be on the same wavelength. I would dress her up in all kinds of different outfits. Oh, she could be my little helper. Either way, I would just hope that the baby didn't take after me. You could say I'm a little rough around the edges. But if they took after you, I'm sure they'd be super cute. They'd probably be athletic too. Wonder if they'll take an interest in sports. like your dad or your mom. I've been told that I'm the spitting image of my dad. It's not that I mind, but I do have mixed feelings about it. I mean, we don't look that much alike, right? My eyebrows aren't as bushy for one.
Yes. In that case... A wise man harmonizes, but does not conform. This story resonates no matter how many times I read it. <sighs> I think we've hit a good stopping place. Let's retire for the night. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens. But you can never be sure what the future holds. Be careful out there, okay? Remember, I'm always looking out for you. We'll meet again. Hmm. 
So, are you still carrying that thing around? Sorry, but I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. This is probably the part where I ask God for a miracle, but that's never worked for me. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone. And I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. Hm. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but... It's the good memories that stay with you, and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Oh, damn. You really don't mince your words, do you? But you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kirijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah, you're just something special. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that, I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. You can head on outside. I'm paying today. Hm. Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks! Come again!
I wonder if I should have gone for the One Piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit, but there wasn't much of a selection for the One Pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's TV show! It said online it was very effective for its price, so maybe it could do some help before the trip. Now let's see... How do I turn this on? Uh, no! This... <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> oh, what do I do? <laughs> Why won't it come off? <laughs> no! Yamagishi, do you have a moment? It's scary, Joseph. Interrupting anything? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> it's not that important. Uh, never mind. Just carry on. Oh, a senpai! <laughs> Is this what it means to train? <laughs> Damn it! I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. When people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Um, uh, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. You know the beef bowl place? Hey, maybe we could meet up there, huh? Get it? What am I, the chairman? Screw this!
Hmm. You two can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up in the summer heat. The key ingredient is a manganji pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kombu soup stock. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... A pasta cooker? Do we even have one of those here? It's still pretty hot. It requires excess energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. <laughs> Shit! We have returned. We're home, Koro-chan! Oh! Shh! We should be quiet. It looks like Aragaki Senpai is asleep. He says, Aragaki-san is not asleep. Huh? Ah, <sighs> Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Aragaki-senpai enjoy cooking shows? I didn't even know this month's issue was out. <coughs> Aragaki-san frequently watches programs like... Uh, it's okay, I guess. Come on. Let's go. Damn. Forgot you can understand dogs. Aw, oh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, Koro-chan. Next time, I'll make you something, too. Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. Hmm. Surface body temperature reads 36.2 degrees Celsius. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. Hmm. I cannot stay too long. Or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. Hmm. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I should be safe as long as I sneak out before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm away from home, so it's no big deal, I suppose. In this fashion magazine. I thought I'd take a look after I saw Takeba purchasing one. 256 snazzy looks to knock the socks off of your BFFs. Get her look. Sweet but glam do's and don'ts. What is this even saying? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. The cutest essentials. Well, I would be open to trying this pink one. <laughs> Not that it would suit me anyway. 
I'm no Takiba. I should remember there's a difference between what appeals to me and what I can actually pull off. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to catch a cold. I should turn in. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Now, which pajamas shall I wear tonight? Back. Nice. Hmm. Um. Yes. Go dance if you want. So you're the one that decides the battle formation. I want to get back into the swing of things as quickly as possible. You get what I'm saying, right? All right. This place is just as creepy as I remember. Well, I'm here if you need me. Let's move out. Everyone stay alert. Hey, doesn't that chest look kind of...
Hope we don't run into any creeps here. Is that treasure? Stand a chance. Oh, stairs. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Let the battle begin. Now then, let's get back to work. Somehow, I always end up choosing things that are pink over any other color. It really suits you though, Yukari-chan. We found the stairs. Let's go. Careful, the enemy's nearby. We're I'll be able to get in! Yeah. It's over! Yeah. You're so surprised! Now then, let's get back to work. Treasure chest, huh? By the way... Great! 
Sweet! Sometimes it's important to fake it till you make it. At least to get into the right mindset. We've got company. What's the plan? Stand a chance. Hey, there's a treasure chest. Treasure chest, huh? Will I be able to break your feelings? Take us to the next floor. Don't go with. Our sister. 
smoke with this situation. Round slow motion, give me motivation. Round down, 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 the rise. Round slow motion, give me motivation. You dodged it. Come on, let's go. Items can be a good way to spread Mission weaknesses. Stand a chance. Found the stairs. Oh, there's a treasure chest. You're going down. In this situation.
think they can use it now. I'm ready to strike. I'll hit them where it hurts. I'm Desolea! Just two more! You know this is our chance. Let's wipe them out! Here we come! They're no They're no Executed! Perfect. Just what we hoped for. Found some stairs. a new skill.
We just gotta crush anything standing in our way and move on with our lives. <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad. Take a break. I find myself missing the aroma of black tea. There's one enemy! Pretty good. what we hoped for. We got company. What's the plan? Oh, can we go up those stairs? Hope we don't run into any creeps here. Careful. The enemy's nearby. <laughs> Three enemies to This will do the trick. He's got the upper hand. to get a read on the layout here. Keep your guard up. Found the stairs! Oh, there's a treasure chest! I'd love to try a bunch of different weapons, but there's a limit to how much money I can spend. We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Incoming attack. There's two of them. Situation. It won't lose. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
who I am.